The partnership that birthed the 2020 Supra Coupe and BMW Z4 convertible makes the Bimmer the intriguing point of comparison, not a wholly unrelated Toyota that died more than 20 years ago. With all respect to the car's loyal tuner crowd, Toyota's job is to sell Supras, not to do fanservice to grown-up tuners or trade in nostalgia. Without BMW engineering and components, for which Toyota ponied up development cash, this Supra wouldn't exist. Nor would the Z4. That's a win-win for anyone who'd like to see sports cars survive. As it happens, I'm almost assuredly the first auto journalist to have tested production versions of the Toyota and BMW back-to-back, -back. I drove a Z4 down from New York for the Supra's first media drive at Summit Point Motorsports Park in West Virginia. For sports cars that share so many genes, they couldn't feel more different. The rightness of BMW's and Toyota's strategy, developing these cars separately using the same mechanicals, practically blows my mind when I jump from the BMW into the Toyota and back again, and it should impress anyone who does the same. When compared to the soft-top BMW that feels richer and more grown up with heftier responses, the hardtop Supra looks and acts like a frisky, tuner-friendly Toyota, a fact that will immediately divide many enthusiasts into one camp or the other. The easy cop-out would be to say that the Supra and Z4 are different cars for different buyers, and that's true. But since I drove them both, forget cop-outs, let's tease out those differences. Let's talk about interior and exterior styling. In terms of styling Z4 leans conservative, an elegant evolution. The right color helps a lot. Meanwhile, the Toyota borrows what it can from the FT1 concept that got superfans dreaming and drooling. But it's a heavily redacted version of that vastly larger concept, and not entirely successful. The Supra looks like an 8 tenths scale supercar from some angles, a tiny coupe that's trying awfully hard to look imposing and exotic. The Supra's swollen hips are a prominent design cue, but they forced another compromise, Toyota couldn't create the bulging form with a single steel stamping. So the two-piece fenders add yet another distracting cutline seam to a car that already has a surplus. The Supra is busy, yet youthful and provocative. But five years from now, the BMW will still be a BMW, and the Supra may not age as gracefully. The Z4's biggest advantage is its luxurious interior. Every touchpoint and technology is better, soft fragrant leather on seats, the fat grips steering wheel and shifter, BMW's dramatic, dual-screen digital cockpit and industry-leading head-up display. The Toyota's driver-centric cockpit is effective in its own way, but uses a previous version of the iDrive interface with a different UI and physical buttons instead of the capacitive touch-operated ones. To me, it just doesn't scream $50,000 car. Now let's talk about powertrains and performance. In the interest of fairness, my particular Z4 was fighting with one hand and two cylinders behind its back, BMW calls it the Z4 S Drive 30i, but the confusing nameplate actually describes a 2.0-liter, turbocharged twin-power four-cylinder with 255 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. Still, this is one of the world's slickest, most overachieving four-bangers. It hustles this 3,287-pound convertible from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a BMW-tested 5.2 seconds, mated to the same paddle-shifted, 8-speed ZF automatic transmission that does its hyper-efficient thing in the Supra. While Toyota wouldn't confirm it, it seems a matter of time before America sees the more affordable Supra with the same four-cylinder BMW engine offered in other markets. Budget-minded enthusiasts could perhaps expect a $43,000 base price. 
The Toyota fires back a six-cylinder volley using BMW's own ammunition, the familiar 3.0-liter inline-six with 335 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque, good for an estimated 4.1-second blast to 60 miles per hour. And the Supra's uniquely aggressive exhaust tuning produced raucous burps and backfires that echoed off Summit Point's track walls and the forested lanes of the Virginias. BMW's own one-upmanship comes via the Z4M40i, whose 382 horses and 369 pound-feet, from the M Division's heavily reworked version of the inline-six, pips both the Supra and the 350 HP Porsche Boxster S pressed on why the Supra must make do with the less powerful, slower reacting version of the inline-six, Tarda stresses the desire for Supra balance. But from my sources, I suspect the real reason is that BMW's haughty, pampered M division wasn't about to share its newest and best handiwork with the likes of Toyota, just as the Supra doesn't get the M Sport model's torque vectoring diff or BMW's new digital cockpit dual-screen IP infotainment display. BMW estimates a 3.9 second 0-60 run for that Z4 M40i, besting the Supra by a few tenths. I've tested that barn-burning, M-massaged engine in the brilliant new 2020 M340i sedan, and its 382 on-paper horses feels like another corporate understatement. As for that shared ZF transmission, it's pretty much impossible to screw up, and neither company has, both the Toyota and BMW effortlessly blip through gears via their paddle shifters or in-drive modes. At summit point, I took to leaving the Supra in drive, the better to concentrate on the tight and technical course, and the Toyota never once stumbled or got caught in the wrong gear. Toyota is slapping a $50,920 starting price on the Supra, while the Z4 with the equivalent i6 starts at $64,695. That's a sizable difference for the more luxurious BMW, but we still aren't overlooking the rather high price for the Toyota, too. Just upon visual inspection, the BMW has better materials on the interior. There's plenty of metal trim visible where the Supra uses black plastic instead. The BMW comes standard with a 10.25-inch center screen, but the Supra only has a 6.5-inch display. An 8.8-inch one gets tacked onto the more expensive Supra. Another BMW exclusive is its trick backup assistant that will automatically back the car up 150 feet from where you last parked the car. So it's not a whole lot, but the BMW does offer a more premium experience for its price. On top of this, BMW always lets folks option its cars up to the gills, and Toyota is offering a premium grade and launch edition at the start itself. Even with the special launch edition, the Supra is still less, though, at $56,180. The four-cylinder Z4 is the Supra's price equivalent right now, each starting at just over $50,000, we'll have to get our hands on both of them to see if the convertible or the coupe offers the best bang for your performance buck. That's it. If you like the video then hit the subscribe button so you never miss a new video notification from Perfect Cars.